Let's see one question respect to mixing tank problem. So let's assume that we have a tank contains 3,000 liter of brine with 15 kg of dissolved salt. A solution of 0 0.02 kg of liter salt is entered the tank at a rate of 10 liters per minute. The solution is kept lovely mixed and drained from the tank at 5 liter per minute. So how much salt is in the tank after 10 minutes? So let us put a detail here. So initially in this tank, we have uh, 3000 uh, liters of brine. That means the volume, initial volume of this tank is equal to 3000 liter. And then at that time, we have 15 kg of dissolved salt. So that means at initially, the salt is 15 kg in the tank. Okay, and then the solutions, a solution of 0 0.02 kg per liter so enter the tank, meaning that we have this, uh, what we call as the concentrations of the salt going in, in this tank is 0 0.02 kilograms per liter. Okay, and is enter the tank at a rate we did not as R in, which is equal to 10 liter per minute. And then the solution is mixed. So we have another thing, which is here, the red is five liter per minute coming out, which is we did not as R out. And this R out is five liter per minute. So in this case, we don't know what is the C out. <coughs> what is the C out, which is the concentrations of the source coming out from the tank. Now let's see how we're going to solve this problem. Let we're going to denote that the Y is the amount of salt in tank. Okay, so we need to write the uh, differential equations to denote the red chance of salt in tank, which is denoted as dy over dt. Right, so the rate of change of salt in the tank is equal to the the rate in of salt goes into tank minus the rate out of salt. Okay, from the tank. So. This can be rewrite as red in of salt is equivalent to R in times C in minus R out times C out. Okay, so we already know what is R in, C in, and the uh, R out. So what we don't know is what is the C out. Okay, the concentrations of the salt coming out from the tank. So the C out is equivalent to the salt in the tank denoted as Y divided the volume in the tank. Okay, now the things here is the volume in the tank, which is this V over here, okay, is going to change. So initially we have this V naught here, right? Because the flow rate of water going in and water coming out from the tank are different. So we need to do the integration here, uh, zero to T, okay, depends on the time. And then here we have this, uh, R in minus R out, then we take the dt here to find the volume of tank, okay, when the time is passed by. So in that case, we can see because the R in is more than the R out, the volume in the tank will be increased, right? <clears throat> so in this case, what we find out is that the integrations of this, <clears throat> which is t to zero, so R in is 10 liter and R out is 5 liter. We integrate with respect to dt. So here we have uh, 0 to t. So we have 5 dt. When we do this integration, we get 5 of t. Right? So that means the C in, in our C out. So the C out in our case is equal to y 
divide by the initial volume. So initial volume is uh, 3000, right? Okay. And plus this five of T. Okay. So every one minute increase, we have another five liter of volumes of water in the tank. Okay. So now we can write the rate of change of the salt in the tank, which is uh, dy over dt by substituting the value that we have from the questions. So with R in, R in is 10 liter per minute, and C in is uh, 0 0.02 kilogram per liter minus the R out. R out we have 5 liter per minute, and then multiply with the C out. Why? 3000 plus 5t. Okay, so this gives us the rate of change. So we're going to solve this. We have this dy dt. So we here have 0 0.2 minus y is over 600 plus t. Okay. Now we can rearrange this to solve this differential equation to find y. We can rearrange it into the linear first order ODE. So what we're going to do, we rearrange the equations as y prime plus pxy equal to qx. Okay, so we rearrange this. So we have this y prime, we have this dy <coughs> dt. And here we have plus y divided by 600 plus t and then uh, is equal to 0 0.2 okay now so we identify what is the px and qy okay so what is the px here so the px here is equal to 1 over 600 plus uh, plus t okay and then the qx is equal to 0 0.2 so we can uh, find the integrating factor okay find the integrating factors i so the integrating factors i is given as this formula exponential integrate of px dx right so here we have this uh, exponential so px is 1 over 600 plus t dt okay so if we do these integrations then we have this uh, uh, we have this exponential so integration of inverse, then we get a ln of 600 plus t. Okay, so this is equivalent to 600 plus t. So this is our integrating factors. Now we're going to use the general formula to find the y. So y is equal to 1 over integrating factors. Okay integrate over ix qx then dx plus c okay so we substitute our integrating factors in these equations here so we have uh, 1 over 600 plus t then we integrate of the integrating factor which is 600 plus t time the q the q that we have is identified as this 0 0.2 so we multiply by 0 0.2 and then here is the dt plus c okay so we need to solve for these integrations okay so now we can simplify this becomes uh, 120 plus 0 0.2 t then uh, dt plus c okay so we do the integrations okay. integration so 120 we get 120 of t 
and then here we do integration we get 0 0.1 t square plus c so this represent the amount of salt in the tank okay this is our general solution okay this is our general solution we haven't find what is the uh, arbitrary constant c so this give us the general uh, solutions okay to find the particular solution that means to find c okay so we need to find c okay so to find c we need to have we need to have the uh, the initial conditions so what is the initial conditions mm, so given initial conditions that is given at time t equal to zero we are starting with the salt why not equal to 15 kg right so we're going to substitute this into our general solution to find what is the c value so given here we have uh, we're going to substitute what into these equations let me rewrite the equations for you okay plus 0 0.1 t square plus c so we're going to substitute into the general solutions where y we substitute with y not 15 kg so here we have t substitute over here then we only have 600 so all this substitute t equal to 0 there will be 0 0 then we have just c over here right so from this we can find what is the c value so in this case we get c value equal to 9000 okay equal to 9000 so we get our particular solutions particular solutions we have y equal to 1 over 600 plus t times 100 t plus 0 0.1 t square plus 9000 okay so then the question is what is the salt in the tanks at time t equal to 10 minute so we just need to substitute this t 10 minute into the equations okay why you got to 1 over 600 plus t which is uh, 10 minute here is 120 t plus 0 0.1 10 square plus 9000 so we calculate this we get roughly 16.74 kilogram of salt in the tank